So the best way to learn any dance is to practice the elements that make up that dance, much like practicing your scales on a piano. If you learn to read music and you learn your scales, you can play any song put in front of you. Same type of thing when it comes to the different styles of swing. If you understand some basic swing elements, you can put them together a lot like Legos to make up the different styles of swing. Some of those elements are walking, touch stepping, triple stepping, and kickball changes. So let's just do that in place. So just walk in place. Walk, doesn't matter what foot you start with, just walk. Feel what that walking rhythm feels like. Now we wanna make sure we're over our feet, not back here marching behind our feet, right? So that we're dancing over our feet, right? So there's walking. Then there's touch stepping. Touch, step, touch, step. And when you get comfortable touch stepping, don't just do it underneath you, like touch to the side, touch forward and back. Get comfortable just moving around. And then of course we have our triple steps as well. Triple step underneath you, right? Triple step going sideways. I would even triple step going forward and back, right? Just getting comfortable with what that rhythm feels like. Then we have our kickball change. Kick, ball, it's ball the foot, change. From the side, that goes kick, ball change, kick, ball change. Get good with doing both feet. Kick, ball change, kick, ball change. Again, kick, ball change, kick, ball change. If you don't pick the foot up, it's a touch ball change. Touch ball change, touch ball change, as opposed to a kick ball change. Same movement, just looks a little bit different because I'm not picking the foot up. So we're gonna go ahead and take those elements, put them to music. You wanna practice them a lot so that you can draw upon them as necessary when you're doing the different varieties of swing. So we're gonna do it to music right now. So there you have all of your elements that make up swing dancing. 